with baking soda. Add just enough water to dissolve the baking soda. Then add a generous spoonful of dishwashing liquid. Use your spoon to thoroughly mix the liquid. Quickly pour the contents of the second glass into the dirt glass. Then, watch as your volcano erupts, spewing foamy orange lava down its sides. It worked! It actually worked! Vinegar is an acid, and baking soda is a base. These two substances react violently to form carbon dioxide gas. As gas forms, it causes the liquid to bubble and foam. It also causes the dishwashing liquid to foam, adding even more fizz to this experiment. Thank you, and please join me again next time. Get out of your chair, and let's move!
It's time for Who's Winning Now? With your host, Wink Donahue. My name is Wink Donahue, and I'm your host for today's show. Before we get to know our contestants and competitors and have them tell a little bit about themselves, but first, I thought I'd tell you some important information about a recent field trip they took to Hayworth where they were part of an amazing research team that made a discovery of a batch of enormous eggs during their trip. Here's a picture of the entire team and as you can see they were very careful not to disturb the eggs and they've left one of their members to stay behind and video the exciting birth. Be sure to watch the information in the pantograph for the news of the arrivals in the near future. And now, our first contestant, Dr. Benny Rufus. I'd love to introduce myself, Wink. My name is Dr. Benny Rufus, and I have a degree at ISU, Harvard, and Northwestern in physics and archeology. span I'm currently in charge of the dinosaur exhibit at Hudson Elementary School, and I was the first to find those eggs at Hayworth, site number 335. Our second contestant. It is a pleasure to meet you, Wink. My name is Professor Theodore McCartney, and I have degrees from the University of Manchester, the University of London, and I am the lead professor at the University of Wisdom in Cambridge. I've written papers on dinosaurs since entering the university at the age of 10, after graduating from Noble West High School. Now I have some unfortunate news about our third contestant, unable to make it tonight because of a accident that took place stubbing his toe at the roundabout. But we are fortunate to have a replacement who has some impressive credentials. Now I believe I'm gonna have to help this individual though uh, read his bio. Corny, I should say Mr. Corny, is a Cornosaurus who resides at the corn crib in Normal, Illinois. And although less than 10 years old, he has fans all over Central Illinois. He is proficient in dancing, <laughs> waving, and writing his name. And although he's not had formal training in today's topic of our show, I know he'll make a striking opponent, so let's play ball. <laughs> For each correct answer today, the contestants will receive a smiley sticker placed on their podium by our production crew. So what do you say we get started with our exciting contest and begin with our questions? Fun facts about dinosaurs. Even though no one knows how long the dinosaurs could live, but scientists do have a good guess. A, is it 50 years? B, 200 years? or C, 10 years. All right, contestants are all finished, so please reveal your answers. And the correct answer is 200 years. So Dr. Rufus has the correct answer. Congratulations. Question two. The very first dinosaur skeleton found in the U.S. was in A. Morrison, Colorado, B. Phoenix, Arizona, or C. Leroy, Illinois. All 
All right, the contestants have stopped. The very first dinosaur skeleton found in the U.S. was A, Morrison, Colorado. So Dr. McCartney has the correct answer. Question three, dinosaurs, A, all laid eggs, B, had babies born alive, C, had their babies brought to them by a stork. <laughs> All right, contestants, please reveal your answers. And the correct answer is A, all laid A. Professor McCartney. Question four. Why did most meat eaters walk on their two feet? A, this made them run faster and left their hands free. B, this made it easier to box their opponent. Or C, it made it easier to dance. All right, the contestants have finished, so please reveal your answers. A is the correct one. This made them run faster and left their hands free. Congratulations, Professor McCartney. Question five, most plant eaters walked on four feet. Why? A, it made it easier to walk through the mud. B, their bodies were so heavy they needed all four feet to carry them. Or C, they didn't like to dance. <laughs> Your answers, please. The correct answer is B. Their bodies were so heavy, they needed all four feet to carry them. Congratulations, Dr. Rufus. Question six, meat eaters are called A, carnivores, B, omnivores, C, herbivores. All right, contestants, show us your answers, please. And the correct answer is A, carnivores. Congratulations, Professor McCartney. Question seven, plant eaters are called A, carnivores, B, omnivores, C, herbivores. Right, contestants, please show us your answers. And C is the correct answer, herbivores. Congratulations, Corny. And question eight, animals that eat both plants and meat are called A, carnivores, B, omnivores, C, herbivores. Contestants, your answers, please. The correct answer is B, omnivore. Congratulations, Dr. Rufus. Question nine, what is an amphibian? A, an animal that is cold-blooded. B, animal that is warm-blooded. C, animal that tells fibs. And your answers, please. The correct answer is A, an animal that is cold-blooded. Congratulations, Professor McCartney. And our last question 
of the day. Number 10, what is a person who studies dinosaurs called? A, rockentologist, B, paleontologist, or C, corntologist? And your answers, please, everyone. The correct answer is B, paleontologist. Congratulations, Dr. Rufus. Wow, it's been an exciting contest and great competition. Now let's take a look at the results here. Right now I see that the contestant one, Dr. Rufus, has four correct answers. Give her a big hand. And Professor McCartney has five correct answers. Give him a big hand. And giving it a valiant try, Corny has one correct answer. Way to go, Corny. So our winner today is Professor McCartney. Congratulations there. And our consolation prize, our two cuddle bugs, will now give Corny his consolation prize. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you so much for joining our show, and we hope you had a great time watching and learning.